States is 300 miles away in Devon. We're off to see a lad called Lewis who runs Otto's Antiques and Interiors here. Young lad, in his 20s. You remember being in the 20s? That's a long time ago now, isn't it? That's nearly 30 years 1920s. ago. 1920s. 1920. So, ideally, because he's going off and buying around Europe and buying sort of all sorts of different bits and bobs, we might find something a bit different. Otto Antique Shop was set up around four years ago by Lewis McSkimming. The name Otto's uh, comes from the background of the business, which is sort of uh, German and Czech stuff, and also uh, I'm a big Simpsons fan. It started for me when I was about 22, just sort of decorating my uh, bedroom in my parents' house, just finding a few cool bits and bobs. I enjoyed the process of finding stuff and buying stuff, and uh, it sort of started from there, really. We don't sell masses to the trade, but we're always flexible. If we're not hoarders, we, you know, we don't hold on to things. If the right price comes along, we sell it. For Drew to make money here, he'll have to get his haggling hat on. Lewis is mainly set up for sales to the general public and retail customers. Lewis, hi, how are you? Yes. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Yeah. You're right. Cool. Cool place. That's okay. Yeah. What was this? Uh, it used to be a car garage in the 30s, and then uh, an old uh, telephone exchange in the 50s. Really? Yeah. Excellent. I like it. It's industrial in. Yeah. Man. Industrial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could only get like three cars in it. Yeah. No, they, were, they were a lot smaller. Yeah. Probably, you got four <laughs> minis, maybe. You know? Yeah. Young dealers often. Well, anybody new, actually, to the business has to find their way pricing. Sometimes they can price stuff really cheap, and then other times they're, they're holding out for top money, and that can make it difficult to negotiate. I like that. That's nice. So it's, um, where do you get that from? Uh, Belgium. That's the back of it. It's Dutch, I think. Yeah, Den Haag is uh, the Hague. Oh, is that the back of it? Yeah, that's the back uh, of it, yeah. Agfa. What's Agfa? Uh, it's film. Film? 35mm film. film. Ah, okay. The first thing I spot is a small diamond shaped Agtha uh, neon light. What I like about it is the, just the colour, the size, and then hopefully when we light it up, it looks great. Agtha is a European firm and one of the first photographic companies to produce colour film. This neon advert dates from 1960. The red, yellow, and blue represents the three primary colours. This could be worth around £600. Well, as long as the neon's all right, you're sort of... The neon works, yeah, but it is smoking. That's OK, because there is dust on it. I, I quite like that old electric... It's just that's the smell. It is smoking. Right? Wait until he's plugged it in, we'll stay here. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. The neon's perfect on it, but it's just... You'll need rewiring. Oh, you can smell it, can't you? Yeah. You can see underneath there. See in there, it's all melting? Yeah. So that's all going to have to come out. Yeah. How much is it as is? 250. Hmm. I'm going to have to spend that on it as well. We did two. Salvage expert Drew Pritchard is at Otto's, a quirky antique shop in Exeter. Cool place. I like it. It's industrial in... Yeah. Man. Industrial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Owner Lewis has a fascination with mid-century industrial and Eastern European designs, and one of them has caught Drew's eye. How much is it as is? Uh, trade, 250. Hmm. I'm gonna have to spend that on it as well. We do two? Take it away, gone. Forget about it. Squeeze you up a little bit, 225, meet you in the middle. Yeah, 225 would be the best on it, mate. Sure. Yeah, Fine. yeah. yeah we'll sound. Yep. Cool. Well, well, thank you. Lewis started at 250, tried at two, we got it for 225. That's OK. It's not cheap, but it's also not too expensive. There's, there's room for manoeuvre, but the transformer in the back of it is absolutely shot. It's leaking and it stinks. So we're going to have to take that out and put a modern one in. Now, that's another expense. Lewis's numbers are high. Drew's going to need to negotiate hard to secure prices that leave him a profit. Can we have a look in the main body of the shop, then? Yeah, of course, mate. Come on. I'd open this as a shop as well. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Industrial lighting. Yeah, in a big way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's something I know a little bit about. It's a nice look to it. Yeah. They're good. I like those as well. They're pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, it's nice to have a set as well. Yeah. 
uh, East German, I think. Nice firm buttocks. Mm -hmm. This pair of linen-backed posters were made in Germany. They show the different muscle groups and were made to teach medical students about human anatomy. At life size, the images are rare and could be worth around 550 pounds. One thing that really struck me in here, and I thought, oh, they're nice, but I don't think there's going to be any money left in them, was some life-size, in fact, in my scale, in my, <laughs> for me, over-life-size, um, male anatomical posters showing muscles and sinew, and they're really good. So how much are these things? There's, there's two the same, isn't there? So it's just front yeah, and back. two the same, and then front and back, yeah. Um, well, their, their ticket price is 235 but I can do 195 trade for you, Drew. Do 360 a pair, and I'll take the, take the two. 360. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, fine. So, thanks. Cheers, mate. Good. Yeah, they're good. Interesting, aren't they? Doing deals with Lewis, fairly straightforward. He is geared up for retail, not for people like me wandering in, trying to knock his prices down a bit. But that's fine. What I'm buying is good. It's another good deal, with some wiggle room for Drew to make a profit. We'll carry on through. Cool. So why, why this style of stuff, then? I buy what I like. Well, that's um, what I always tell people yeah, to do. Yeah, I'm into all the sort of German and Eastern European kind of stuff. Yeah, it's got, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough, it's very blokey. Yeah. Um, it's visually really interesting. So tell me about this. Uh, it's English, actually. Uh, probably 1950s. Have you made it up, or...? No, no, exactly as it is, we've just... And the shades as well? Yeah, exactly as it is. We've just literally rewired it so it just takes standard bulbs, and that's it. But it's Interesting. Just, it's just bonkers. In the corner, there's this wonderful twin-arm alloy chrome black lamp. Now, it's a heat or a therapy lamp, really. One of them would have had red bulbs in or whatever, and they were for light and for heat. Really cool thing. Never seen one before, and it's in really nice condition. This chrome therapy lamp dates from the 1940s. It was made by English company Perihel, meaning nearest to the sun. They mixed infrared and ultraviolet rays for an old-fashioned medical treatment known as light therapy. Now renovated as a table lamp, it could be worth around 500 pounds. Yeah. 315, what can you do on that? Uh, 275 trade on that, mate. Yeah. 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 Cheers, mate. Thanks, Thanks on that. Thank you. Wherever you are in the world, you need a light, don't you? Particularly in this country, in the winter. Um, I always say two things. Everybody needs to see and everybody needs to sit down. Lights and seats. Been working for me for 25 years. Into Lewis's workshop, where often dealers hide their best pieces. Is this stuff for sale or is this all your own gear? Uh, it's all our own gear, but it can all be for sale, of course. Okay. I'm looking for, I mean, I'm always after holophanes. Do you sell the lights like that? Would you sell them in this state? They're my resto projects. There's no value in you doing that, is there? And that's what I mean, mate, yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd have to be You've got to add the value to them. Yeah, I'd have to be sort of charging you somewhere near what I'd get for it retail. What would you get for that retail? 180? Yeah. Lewis restores many of the items he buys and sells on at a profit. He's unwilling to sell the unrestored pieces to Drew as he'll lose his profit margin. This is where he adds the value. This is where he's putting the money on the pieces. He's bringing them in, he's rewiring them, cleaning them, checking them over, making them into something slightly better, more usable. So he doesn't really want to let stuff go in this state. Um, but this is how I like to buy it. But he won't let it go. And I don't blame him. Do you want to have a look at the mechanical arm while we're here? <laughs> <laughs> Today really good. Dealing with Lewis on his price is not bad at all because the things that I've bought are not exactly the norm. And there's profit in all of it. It's all about uh, keeping that price right for everybody, making sure that these guys make their profit, leaving a little bit in for me. So all in all, a good day. Today was great. Nice to meet you, an experienced dealer. And uh, yeah, he bought some cool stuff. That was pretty good. Yes, nice feel right there. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous beard. Quality beard. Quality beard, yeah. wasn't it? Sort of like a big anvil of, of beard, wasn't it? Like yeah. a big wedge. Like you could sort of break cheese with it or something. 
We're too old to have beards like that, I think a beard like that would cause us back problems. <laughs> A fast-moving business like Drew Pritchard Limited relies on turning over items quickly, so pieces go straight onto the website or for repair. The Afghan neon sign is sent to Carl for a cleanup. He gives it a brand new transformer and a safe new rewire. From Junk Deluxe, the reupholstered chairs sell to a private buyer from Buckinghamshire. From Kanoki Mansion House, the old pine table that did have its top flipped was given a light sand and wax by Gavin. That's a great restoration job. A little character to the side, doesn't it? Did you spend a lot of time on it? Because of what Drew got it for, he got to spend more time on it and do it. Do it just like. Yeah, take the time with it. Whatever that means. <laughs> A customer from Germany loved the end result too, and it sold in a couple of days. My job is all about buying at the right price. If I don't buy it at the right price, I won't make a profit, or my margin will be cut. Then I can't pay the bills, can't pay the wages, and I might as well hang my coat up and go home. Trade 250. Hmm. I'm gonna have to spend that on it as well. We do two. Take it away, gone. Forget about it. Squeeze you up a little bit, 225, meet you in the middle. Yeah, 225 would be the best on it, mate. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll have Sam. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Lewis started at 250, tried at two, we got it for 225. 
that's okay. It's not cheap, but it's also not too expensive. There's, there's room for manoeuvre, but the transformer in the back of it is absolutely shot. It's leaking and it stinks. So we're going to have to take that out and put a modern one in. Now, that's another expense. Lewis's numbers are high. Drew's going to need to negotiate hard to secure prices that leave him a profit. Can we have a look in the main body of the shop, then? Yeah, of course, mate. Come on. I'd open this as a shop as well. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Industrial lighting. <laughs> yeah, in a big way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's something I know a little bit about. It's a nice a look to it. Yeah. They're good. I like those as well. They're pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, it's nice to have a set as well. Yeah. Uh, East German, I think. Nice, firm buttocks. Mm-hmm. This pair of linen-backed posters were made in Germany. They show the different muscle groups and were made to teach medical students about human anatomy. At life size, the images are rare and could be worth around 550 pounds. One thing that really struck me in here and I thought, oh, they're nice, but I don't think there's gonna be any money left in them, was some life size, in fact, in my scale, in my, <laughs> for me, over life size, um, male, anatomical posters showing muscles and sinew and they're really good. So how much are these things? There's, there's two the same, isn't there? So it's just front yeah, and back. Two the same and then front and back, yeah. Um, well, their ticket price is 235, but I can do one.